Hey guys, it's Derek and Anna from Happy Karma Homes. Okay, Derek's gonna say something witty now. No, I'm not. He just told me to say something witty. Like, I don't say witty things. I was just commenting. This is not a very interesting, but I was just commenting about how the we had to cut these crepe myrtles down and they're regrowing. And then I was thinking about how I think I'm in this shirt, this outfit, every single time we shoot a video. Yeah. I, need I also form. don't know the last time I washed my hair. I think it was last week, but I'm not sure about that either. That's why I don't smell her hair. Okay. <laughs> That's why we have a king size bed. Let's wrap it up. What are we doing here? Okay, so we're really excited to show like you. Let's wrap it up and we just start. Oh, yeah, we just. <laughs> All right, guys. Derek doesn't want to do this video. No. Nah. Um, okay, so we're back at 717. I've now been putting everything onto YouTube. So I think I named this We Moved a House because, like, we moved this house here, which is really cool. And I want to show you some features that we're going to be carrying through in the design work because we're starting to get to the really fun part, in my opinion less of the heavy lifting and more of the fun design part. So let's go. I'm going to. Okay, so this little arched window is right here. And then you've got this beautiful swoop roof. We're going to have our friends at um, Lorena Lamplighter repurpose or, or refinish this lamp. But I absolutely love that arched window. And we just found a way that we're going to be able to bring through the design into the house so if you watch this we moved a house video um the previous one you'll see that we opened it all up and then you have some two two built-in shelves that are beautiful from the 1920s and we opened up a huge area onto the kitchen i'm going to show you a little minor adjustment we're going to make that i think will carry through this theme even more so derek give me a hand up please all right thank you oh yeah that's really amazing so we've been playing around. This house has a smaller living space and then a really big addition. So my trick as a designer is, okay, so how do I make this room feel even bigger? Because obviously there will be a ceiling. It's nine foot ceiling, so it's gonna feel pretty open, but it's actually not that big of a square footage. So we're gonna take that design of the window, the arch window, you can't, oh. you can't see it, it's behind the door. <laughs> okay, I hope you didn't throw up in that. Um, we're gonna take the archway and bring it through this design. I don't think I've shown you this, Isaac. So we're gonna make this an arched passageway into the kitchen. Yes, I'm seeing your face, Isaac, that's a good sign. Okay, so this will be closed up because we're gonna take you on a little tour of the existing house because I think we did the addition in the last video. We did, we did a little bit, house. yeah, we did a little bit. Of, so we're closing this up. Closing the store up. Um, so this is what you're gonna see when you walk into the space. You'll be in the living room. We are putting a fireplace back in. Super, fire. super excited about that. So there'll be a fireplace there. This will be an arched open way into a kitchen with a horizontal kitchen island. We are doing this house black and white, which we have not done before. Now I say black and white, it'll be probably obsidian, which is like a dark, dark gray, and then a creamy white. So it won't be too stark, um, but we're gonna play around with this house. It's gonna have a, a, a 1920s historic home, but we're gonna freshen it up kind of like a Santa Barbara coastal style. So you're gonna see butcher block countertops, black or obsidian, um, cabinetry on the bottom and then white uppers, Probably um, creamish, creamish, creamy, white creamy white, creamy white, um, uppers with pendant lights. And I can already, I know the ones I'm going to get that have a black shell, but a gold dome underneath. And then in the dining room, we'll have a rattan chandelier. So kind of bringing in that that Santa Barbara feel. I'm so excited right. about this. This is all that I do. I just lay in bed pretending like I'm asleep so nobody bothers me thinking of how the house is going to feel. Never, this is why Anna's so excited, never have we had a design pulled together this early. Like a full no. plan, yes, but like, a, like never did we have no, like a, like a yeah. rattan uh, chandelier, yeah. never a yeah. light fixture. We've never had that. Yeah. So that good job. Thank you. Good job. Um, I think it's because I'm never sleeping and I'm always like trying to go to sleep. So I think of design stuff. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do right here because it's a little bit wonky. You'll see how we've reworked some stuff in the kitchen, open up the kitchen a little bit more. Can I take them through this? Yes. Okay. okay. So the way it works now is when you you have a bedroom here and you have a bedroom here, the front of the house and the back. And the way it works now is the entrance to that bedroom is actually in the kitchen. And then you have you come into this hallway, um, 
And this was a closet actually for that bedroom. And then you, you just come show them what we're gonna do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna close this off and this is gonna become the closet for that bedroom. Yeah. Um, we are going to close, close this, this off. And then we're gonna put a wall up right here. We're making the bathroom a bit smaller. So the bathroom's gonna be a bit smaller, but it's gonna, then we're losing this, and you're in the way. Oh. You're losing this, so then you actually get a square bathroom that you can work with. Yeah. Um, and and not, that'll be a doorway, a doorway so many, into like, the turns. bedrooms. It's kind of wonky right now. So yeah. you'll walk into here. And this, and this will be won't a be a door. This will be a pass. A pass yeah, this will go into that bedroom. This will go into that bedroom. Easy peasy. And this is a hallway. And then this is the bathroom for with the vanity here. The tub's actually going to go on this wall, window, and then the toilet over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's important because in order to make this kitchen work, Part of the, the, the deal with this house is it's kind of a railroad style, the living spaces. So it's, it's long. So you have to break the eye from the length of it. And if you put a kitchen island in this way, then you know that just makes it longer. It doesn't make it feel bigger this way. So we're going to make it feel bigger this way by putting in a horizontal island to break the so in the um, middle the of the, so in the middle of this archway. Yeah, so it'll be an archway and then a horizontal island. And the problem with that is this pantry right here has to go because you can't walk by very well. It's also why we're going to arch. It gets too congested. Yeah, it's also why we need to take off like eight inches right here in order to be able to walk by the island to have the island have the the length that you need. So this will go. This will go. And this will be your fridge and full height cabinets. We're doing. I think uh, um, I can't remember if we're doing. We'll do I think shelves. we're doing uppers and lowers. Uppers and lowers. So you have the counter space. Yeah, counter because space. Thank you. We don't need a lot of times when we do full height cabinets on either side of the fridge is because we're using those as a pantry. Right. But we have a pantry. So because if you saw in our last video, which if you haven't, go watch it because I'm not going to explain it again. Um, we have a huge mudroom, and that mudroom does not need to be that big. So what we're going to do instead is this is going to become a hallway. Right over here is the closet for that bedroom. closet for that bedroom. And this right here is going to become the pantry. So we're going to reclaim this pantry. I think it's a nicer way to walk into the home. You'll walk in, it'll be laundry here, cabinets, mudroom here, and then it'll- A little hallway. A little hallway. The pantry with your pantry, nothing here, artwork. Um, and then and then here we are. I'm so excited about this house now. <laughs> this has been like, we have not been on the same page about the kitchen until what, Tuesday? Whatever you say. Did you just fall asleep? When, no, I just mean. You're you, not even doing this video you tell, with me. <laughs> you, tell, you, tell me when I, you tell me when the date was, I have no idea. But we're I don't the, even know what day it is. We are on the same page. No, we are. It's Do you nice. have anything else you want to say about this house? Because no. I'm going to wrap it up because it, it it's boring. I'm just talking about myself. People hear me talk too much. I do. And I'm just that. right now noticing like switch boxes that are in the wrong place. So. I'm like, you're not here. You're not here. Somebody has to make this vision, your vision come to reality. That's the best part about my job is that I don't have to figure that part out. <laughs> Derek does. Oh, we're on the wrong side. No, I'm supposed to be on that side. I'm just trying to throw you off. Oh. No, That's I can't it. talk. What will I do? Okay, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Bye.